Yo, so what is you guys? So I was watching the news just somewhere, just doing odd things, just watching, flipping the channel, I was watching the news, and I saw Chris Brown on that video, the news yet, the other day, yesterday, and I saw where he got arrested, and now he's uh doing a uh, charge. He's suing against the person, the accuser. So, I was wanting to bring up him and talk about his history. February 18th at 19, he punched, he, Brown punched and choked and bit his then-girlfriend Rihanna, leaving her with visual facial in, in, injuries and in need of hospitalization. Brown turned himself in to the police and later pleaded guilty to one account of felony assaults. March 22, 2011, Good Morning America co-host Robin Roberts asked Brown repeated questions about Rihanna during his visit to the show, after what, after which the artist stormed off set and threw a chair, a chair through his dressing room window. June 14, 2012, Brown was involved in a brawl with Drake and his, and his entourage at a New York nightclub in which about eight people were injured due to broken bottles and punches thrown the fight was reportedly over Rihanna whom Drake also ha has also dated January 2013 press reports indicated that there was there were irregularities in the records committed submitted to the court concerning Brown's community service work hours offered perform in the wake of the Rihanna felony case he seemed to have been credited with community service hours when he was actually out of the United States. January 27, 2013. Brown was involved in an altercation with Frank Ocean over a parking space outside of recording studio in West Hollywood, California. According to the police, Brown punch, pushed or punched the singer. Ocean did not press charges, though Brown also reportedly threatened to shoot him and a member of his entourage used a homophobic slur. slur. March 7, 2013. Brown became hostile with a valley outside a bo L.A. bowling alley, Los Angeles bowling alley. After he, the parking attendant requested the $10 charge to release the car to the singer. Well, I mean, that's how the... I don't know why you fought up for that. <laughs> but that's Brown. July 15, 2013. Excuse me. Brown's probation was revoked for his involvement in alleged hit and run in L.A., Los Angeles. The charges were dropped at a hearing in the following month after reaching a civil compromise with his accuser. I'm gonna turn this fucking volume off. October 27, 2013. Brown was arrested for felony assault with. After punching a man outside of the W Hotel in Washington, D.C., Brown and his bodyguard allegedly punched a man and broke his nose after he tried to get a pi in a picture with him and two women. Two women. Brown was quoted saying, I'm not into this gay shit, I'm into boxing, before taking a swing. Brown's charges was reduced to a misdemeanor and he was vo voluntarily entered a rehab and he voluntarily entered into a rehab center while awaiting sentencing. November 10, 2013, Brown was kicked out of the rehab facility where he had been ex expected to stay for the three months, which he didn't stay for no longer than, whoa, that's four. He stayed there for 14 days. Brown was kicked out, out of the rehab rehabilitation facility where he had been expected to stay there for three months for breaking program rules by acting violently. He had, he had, according to the facility, thrown a rock through the, his mother's car window f following a family session in which he she, she said she wanted him to stay in treatment. November twentieth, twenty thirteen, Brown was sentenced to ninety days in an anger management rehab facility, as well as submit, submitting to a drug test and to. Submitting to drug testing and to take any prescription recommended by the facility. December 16, 2013. As a result of Brown's altercation of the W Hotel in Washington, D.C., two months prior to the singer's probation related to his assault on Rihanna in 2009, 
nine was revoked again. However, Brown was not ordered to return to jail as the judge said he was pleased with his progress in rehab. Progress in rehab. March 14, 2014. Brown is kicked out of a Malibu, California rehabilitation center during a court ordered extended stay following the W Hotel incident. He's taken into custody for not taking a drug test and touching a female also undergoing treatment among other infections. September 14, 2015. A Colorado woman filed charges for third degree assault alleging that she was forcibly thrown off the tour, artist's tour bus for not giving up her cell phone which was reportedly broken during the f- process. June 2nd, 2016. Following a nightclub performance in L- Los Angeles, Las-, Las Vegas, Brown was accused of punching a woman in the face for trying to take his picture. June 23rd. June 23, 2016, Brown's former manager, Mike G, filed a lawsuit in Superior Court of the State of California alleging that Brown assaulted him in an unprovoking drug field rage on May 10, 2016. On Instagram, Brown posted, Niggas is getting mad because I fired them because they're stealing money. June 27th. 2016, Marianne Suge says, S-U-G-E, I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong, Knight sued Chris Brown and West Hollywood Nightclub 1 Oak for failing to provide adequate security at a 2014 Brown-hosted party during, during, we stuck seven times, damn, August 30th, 2016, after an all-day standoff with police at his home in Tarzana, California, and a subsequent search of the residence. Brown was arrested on substance suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon. A female alleged the singer had pointed a gun at her face in his home earlier that morning. In a three-part Instagram post, Brown declared, I'm innocent. I'm tired of this shit. May 9, 2018. Brown is named alongside rapper Young Low born Lowell Grissom Jr. and an unnamed woman in a lawsuit filed by Alfred a read on behalf of a Jane Doe and others accusing them of sexual battery, gender violence, hate violence, assault, inference with the exercise of civil rights, intentional infliction of emotional distress and more in connection with a 2017 sex party at Brown's Los Angeles home at which the woman says she was raped multiple times by Grissom and forced to forced to participate in sexual activity against her will and so um now Chris Brown plans to sue raper, accuse, rape accuser for slander. Slander means it's a lot. Singer Chris Brown, who was detained Monday by police in Paris often after a woman accused him of rape, is planning to sue the woman, according to his attorney, Raphael Cheech. Shortly, shortly after Brown, 29, was released Tuesday night without charges from the prosecutor's office, Tite said announced that he was preparing to sue the woman for making the claims against the singer. Chris Brown is freed. No lawsuit were filed against him, which is tweeted. He verbally challenges the charges against him. A comp- complaint for slanderous denunciation will be filed tomorrow with the public prosecutor of Paris. Brown and two others were placed in police custody on Monday on suspicion of aggravated rape and a drug offense after a woman filed a complaint with Parisian police accusing the group of raping her at the Singers Hotel, according to the New York Times. 
The Paris Prosecutor's Office told the Associated Press that Brown and his group were released from custody and authorized to leave the country while the investigation was authorized to leave the country while the investigation was going on ongoing. So usually when the investigation is ongoing, they tell you not to go, leave the country. That's kind of weird. In a statement uh, to Entertainment Tonight, Chich, Chich, I don't know how to say it, C-H-I-C-E-E, -E, C H I C A T confirmed that he the prosecutor had not sued Brown for but noted that Brown was still under investigation. The charges against Chris Brown have not been dropped and investigations are still going on. But Chris Brown had has not been sued by prosecution, Ch 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 Chich said. Later Tuesday, Chich confirmed that he was preparing to file a complaint against Brown's accusing. I'm preparing to compl I'm preparing to complain. Hashtag Chris Brown will, will file the accuser. French French celebrity news magazine Closer was the first to report Brown's intention. According to the magazine, Brown's accuser told police that she was raped after his suit in the Madri Mad Mandarin Oriental Hotel on the night of January 15th. He said. That she met the singer and his friends earlier that evening at a nightclub near the Chance Elysees. <sighs> Sorry. Associated Press confirms the details of the woman's report citing an unnamed police officer. Brown maintained the innocence in his Instagram caption start, start shared with a photo that reads, This bitch lying. I want to make it perfectly clear he wrote, this is false and a whole lot of cap. Cap means lies and cap being means lying. For my daughter and my family, this is so disrespectful, SIC. And it's against my character and morals. And what? Brian Brown is no stranger to allegations of violence. That's true. I just read them off to you at the beginning of the video. And the 2019, 2009, Brown attacked pop, pop star Rihanna. Then in 2017, Brown's ex Okay. And basically saying that he's. I'm going to try to look up the post, like for real. Hang on. It's on Instagram, they said. The bitch be lying. Let's look up his name. Chris Brown. Chris Brown official. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying to say, see where the video is. Trying to see where it is. I'm trying my best. Okay. Light bulb. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it, like on on it, the website I'm looking on. It's HuffingtonPost.com. I will leave the thing in the description if you want to go see it. Hang on, it's looting stupid fit fucking phone. Let's see, bitch be lying. Let's 
Hang on. Trying to find it, hang on. <laughs> 